Barcelona have just made their third bid for Robert Lewandowski. It's believed to be about 40 million euros with a potential 5 million euros further in add-ons. And this is the first bid out of their three bids which has even been responded to by Bayern, which Bayern are even considering. Such was the laughable nature of their previous two bids. And while Bayern haven't responded to this bid yet, apparently, there is contact now between clubs, which can't be said for the previous bid. And although Barcelona are looking to pay around 50 million to get the pole, it appears, Bayern are looking for 60 or even 75 million for Lewandowski. But at 34 years old, how much do I think Lewandowski is worth and how much should Bayern sell him to Barcelona for? So we must consider the fact that Lewandowski doesn't want to stay at Bayern. He's said repeatedly that the club feels dead to him, that he wants more emotions in his life and more rubbish like this, probably spearheaded by his agent Pini, the piranha Zahavi, who is a literal fish as he's a piranha. But... Um, it's probably his agents doing, but I think he's really burnt bridges at Bayern. The dressing room probably hate Lewandowski now, and he'll be tough for Julian Nagelsmann, a player, um, a person who Lewandowski has had troubles with apparently in the past also, to control him in the upcoming season. So should Bayern just really get rid of him instead of saying that they want to keep him? I think that's a big consideration, and I think that he'll really impact and disrupt the dressing room dynamics in the upcoming season if he does stay. So for this reason, Bayern should get rid of him. But how would Bayern play without him? So we've seen that Haller has gone to BVB now, probably. And also there are other transfers like Patrick Schick, who would be magnificent, but he's probably too expensive. And Herbert Heiner will be talking about how Corona is a big pandemic if we even step foot in the Patrick Schick race, so I don't think we'll be able to get him. This leaves options like Sasa Kalajic, but we've seen that Bayern, and deservedly so, don't even think that he's an option to be a starter, and therefore, if there are no options to be a starter as a striker on the market, Bayern will line up with Sadio Mane as a striker, or even Thomas Muller as a striker, where he plays very poorly, I must say, even as a huge Muller fan. So I think that this could really negatively impact the team's play. If Bayern did play with that 4-2-3-1 that we love, the club's identity and the formation that, in my opinion, Bayern should continue playing to forever and eternity, Mane would line up as a striker, but given his qualities, his pace, his athleticism and breaking down defences, going, making those runs in behind, he's probably not suited to that target man hold-up role that Lewandowski plays in the 4-2-3-1, which then bodes for formations like the 4-3-3, where he could play as a centre-forward. Yes, that's great for Mane, but where does Thomas Muller play? He just won Bayern Player of the Season, and now it appears that there may not even be a role for him in the current team. It's a bit shambolic, and in my opinion, Bayern really still need that true striker, and that's a big reason why Lewandowski should stay, even if he does leave at the end of the next year. I think that that one season of him, the potential good that can come of it, a Champions League title, versus is is worth more than the 60 million, 70 million that Bayern would recoup from the potential losses of maybe missing out um, on even the Champions League semi-finals if Bayern don't have a registered striker. But we also must consider Barca's economic levers. They're suddenly loaded again somehow. I don't even know how that's possible given their shambolic club running, but... Barca are loaded again due to those merchandising levers that they've just pulled. And I think this gives Bayern lots of leverage, if you will, as Bayern will be able to demand higher prices for their players. Bayern are in no real need to sell from an economic perspective, but Barca are in need to buy from a sporting perspective. And they put so many resources and so much bravado, so much hype into this Lewandowski signing. They'll be derided even more so than they already are if they don't secure the signing. So I think that Bayern can really play hardball here and therefore they should be able to fetch a sum of 60, even 70 million euros. But in terms of Barca's financial situation in the past few years, Bayern are still owed money from Arturo, transfer, Arturo Vidal's transfer to Barcelona. How's that possible? He transferred a few years ago and they still haven't been paid the full amount. So I think it's smart that Bayern are requiring upfront fees they're requiring 40 million upfront, 50 million upfront to get this transfer because they have no faith 
in the historically terrible board of Barcelona in funding their future payments. And I think this is the right approach from Bayern. I think Bayern should continue with this approach. So how much is Lewandowski worth for just one season at the club? I think that he's worth about 60 million euros in the transfer fee, as if Bayern do sell him, they're actually saving about 80 million euros in this case, 60 million in the transfer fee and 20 million in wages. And I think this would give Bayern enough money to get a replacement. Lewandowski does want to go, and I think he would really harm the dressing room dynamic, so if an offer of this calibre comes in, Bayern should accept it. But also, due to Barca's economic levers, they're able to pay this much money, and Bayern should be demanding this. So I think 60 million for a player with one year on this contract, 34 years old nearly, is a great price for Lewandowski, and will allow Bayern to be well prepared in the future to replace him. But I also think that Bayern will sell him for this amount. So although Bayern keep saying deny, 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 this is not happening, we expect Lewandowski back on that first summer after summer training session. I do think Bayern will sell Lewandowski. He has burnt too many bridges here. The bosses hate him. The players probably hate him. And it's very Bayern-like to deny, 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 and then come up in a few weeks saying they've agreed to the transfer or that the transfer is finalized. This is how they like to work in the darkness. And they don't like everything to happen as it's being reported in front of them. So I think this is classic Bayern. I think we will see Lewandowski sold but we should hope that it's about 60 million euros or even more as this will give Bayern funds to play with and will represent a good deal for Bayern and a terrible deal for Barca like always. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.